It's Adam here. Uh, I am about to leave on a trip and, you know, I love tank bags, believe it or not. Um, I've always used them to keep my camera in. I've got a Canon 5D SLR. Um, I usually have the extra battery pack on, even though I won't need it for this trip. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle for me because I always have this, this, this issue with tank bags because they're too big. I can't stand. And, and really like, especially with my big, huge stomach here, I can't stand and really use the whole range of motion in the bike. Um, which for the trip I'm doing, I need to stand more. Uh, and if it's too small, then I can't carry much in it. But also uh, a lot of the small bags aren't waterproof. And then finally, a lot of the bags in general, waterproof, big, small, whatever, don't fit the, the really sexy GSA hump here. Um, so I've tried everything. I've tried Touratech, I've tried uh, uh, Alt Rider, I tried Wolfman, um, and now I'm trying the Moscomoto Hood 5. Why the Hood 5 over the Nomad? Well, the Hood 5 is um, is is bigger, so my my big beer belly is gonna you know obviously get in the way of it. But it's waterproof. It's also formed, so it's not gonna compress. And I'm talking about carrying a Canon 5D, a full frame camera on it. Uh, and there's really nothing better than having this camera in front of me because. What ends up happening on trips is if I have it behind me or in one of the bags, uh, I have to dig for it. Uh, it's usually collapsed. So I'm digging for the body, grabbing a lens, putting it together in a dusty environment. Everyone's waiting for me. But with this thing, it's literally this one, this one drop open for that. So waterproof, small while still being functional and fits my GSA hump decently. Um, so the Hood 5, five liters obviously, um, it doesn't seem like it'd be waterproof because it's not like a zipping closed, but that's the thing about these bags is that I have an Endura, Endura stand 4A, it zips closed when it gets dusty, that zipper is really hard to close. So it's waterproof because you have this uh, layer up here that keeps the water from coming up. I've got a hole in mine. Look at that. I've got a hole in mine. Huh. It's still waterproof. And then, uh, and then this, you know, so no water's really going to come in here. And you've got some ports on the back, a hole ports. Those are covered up by here as well. Um, yeah, I got a hole in it. Anyway, and then the inside here, uh, we've got uh, these removable bags. I'll probably just keep one of these bags in here for the other one in my other bag because um, the SLRs have been here. But you've got uh, one, two zipper closed pockets on the edges there. Cool, huh? So um, let's get to installing this thing. It does come with a map pocket, but I'm, uh, I was born in 86, so I don't use map pockets. I just, I've got an inReach, an iPhone, a Garmin, uh, yeah, and they all have offline maps, so sweet. Okay, let's get this installed. So let's uh, make sure the camera angle's okay. So this thing's pretty much gonna install exactly the way most of these tank bags install. You know what I'm talking about, right? Um, so we've got this harness that we're going to uh, unhook from the tank bag. and uh, females on this side. So you got this harness right here. Um, so we're gonna be hooking this around and then basically threading it through like that. Not that hard, but uh, let me just get started and I'll come back to you guys. Now there are some pads under here you can take off if your tank is uh, a certain kind of slope. So I may choose to take it off for the, uh, for example, maybe take it off for the top part. Obviously that's too far down, so pull those up until we're happy with it. Yeah, so you see right here, that's just gonna be constant. Hey, some people don't care about that kind of thing, but I'm a BMW owner. So uh, they include these things here. You're supposed to zip tie them to your uh, frame. They're probably way nicer than what Endura's Dan offers me, but uh, I've got these, so. I can pull that there down. Oh, God damn it. They're also the other direction. Son of a bitch. Enduristan is exactly the opposite of Moscow. Uh, Moscow uses a much nicer, more expensive connector. So 
That just means that I need to keep in my tank bag the Enduristan uh, connectors, both of them, well, all three of them. I know, don't you guys feel for me here? That I've got to, can't run multiple modifications. This always happens to me. All right, make sure it's the right size. Yeah, these are actually way nicer than the Endura stands, by the way. Okay, so uh, here's how I installed it, just so you guys, so you can uh, put these zip ties, these need to be cut, obviously, uh, through any of these holes, actually. I did, the, I did the top and the bottom, but any of these holes actually work for putting the zip ties through. Um, then I have this coming up. This They have this integrated in there where you can actually flip this around and hold any excess back. You can cut this if you need to. Uh, just make sure you burn it off with the lighter. This is Velcro all the way up. Don't over pull this. I mean, you've got a, you've got a lot of, of, of uh, stitching right there, but don't, don't overextend this because if you'll notice, if you look back, it, this, is, this is kind of on a nice little pivot, which is actually kind of, it's good. This kind of moves under its own sort of like on its own separate pad, more or less. Uh, what that allows for, it allows for not a lot of pressure here. So you don't need to over, like so this is not really that uh, tight. This is just moving around normally up here. Uh, this is all tight as you can tell. I'm gonna get some massive rubbing uh, under here. Pete told me, just put something under it if you really care that much. I, I know Pete, but you know, b &W people. Uh, let's go to the other side real quick. And, uh, and I, yeah, again, I'll cut this off, but here's the other side. Same thing applied, just very bottom and the very top. You can go in the middle if you want to, but the GS has uh, a little crossbar, right? It's hard to see, but right above there is a little crossbar, and then up here there's a little hole, right? You can't really see it, but it's right there. Uh, a little hole you can use, and so that's what I've used before for my tank bag mounts. Um, yeah, it's a perfect fit for this style tank. Thanks to the foam pads, that was kind of a bit of genius there. Um, e really easy to open this thing up. I mean, you just pop the thing and it's off, and then, yeah, get to my camera in there. Uh, it'll hold my 5D perfectly along with, um, basically what I'll do is I'll have uh, GoPro batteries, um, a, a couple of cables, you know, uh, cleaning cloth and solution and, you know, that kind of stuff will go in here. And then the rest of it will just be my Canon 5D, basically. I need an extra 20 bucks in here or something just, for, just in case. There's another uh, zipper up here as well that uh, you could use if you need to. I, I would say, you know, they, they've done a really excellent job of um, designing this. This is probably the best waterproof tank bag I've ever seen. Um, yeah, it has a Molly panel here for their cell phone holder and other stuff, other accessories. I've got the uh, Moto Power Puck, so I don't need it. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. I, I, I did not think it was this nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and now I kind of want to buy the Nomad just to have that as my uh, my backup. But the Endurance is just so big and so meaty. So, um, yeah, Hood 5 tank bag. Love it. Can't wait to use it uh, on the trail. Uh, oh, you know what I should do? Let me get my, uh, my fat butt on the GS, and I'll show you what this looks like with my... Uh... All right. This is always fun. We're on, a, uh, we're on a moving platform right now, so I can't go too crazy. can't go too wild. All right. I did this with the Endura stand as well, see how we're moving. Uh, so, normally, uh, it looks really small from this angle, which is great. Um, let's make sure we're even here. All right, so when you stand, my crotch is still kind of in it, uh, but it's, it kind of collapses, it kind of bows out a little bit when I hit on it. Um, but the Endura stand is like flush with my crotch. So when I'm standing, obviously this is gonna be um, a much nicer package while still being able to allow me to quickly get to my 5D and take a picture of you. So it has these cool straps in here too. This is awesome, this is a cool tank bag. I love this waterproof because so many companies, they ace this, they do such a good job with like a, a, a solid like form molded body um they do a great job with like kind of the design and the pockets and the mounting system let's see if i can get this i guess that's not really a big deal should that mean it should go no it should go down a little bit i don't know it's fine but then they don't make it waterproof you have to buy this little you have to buy or you have, they give you a waterproof bag and like 
where do you keep the waterproof bag? And then half your tank bag is occupied. This is so well thought out. Um, I think I was so spoiled by the Backcountry 35s that I don't, I, I kind of took for granted how much I hate other tank bags. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Moscow, nice job. Sorry I'm so fat, but nice job with this. I love it. Um, yeah, this, this GS is on a, a rolling platform, which is why I have to be careful and not get off it normally. But let's get these uh, zip ties cut off. Then I'll load this thing up with some gear because I'm leaving in two days. Ride safe, everyone. Take care.